Hey guys, how's it going? So, we are at Benji Kinman Lake. It's uh, actually a series of lakes. There's um, two over here, um, this one and the upper one, which um, there's another larger lake um, just across the way over here. Um, and then there's another smaller pond um, that we may hit before we leave today. But we really want to try to get out here. Got this curly tail grub tied on and it is, I, we have, I've been seeing a ton of fish break um, this evening, and, you know, I, um, I know that there are bass in here, I've caught some small ones on the curly tail grub before, I've also been told that there's trout in here, and that's actually kind of what I'm thinking about this evening, is seeing if we might be able to grab one or two of those, um, you know, just to, just to have a little bit of fun. Um, so, I'm trying to find a good angle. I've already been caught up once um, on some of this cover, as you can see in here. But, you know, we got a lot of a lot of trees in the water. Just saw something breach again further up the way. So, we're going to take a few casts here. See if I can get my line untied. And we're going to see if we can catch anything here. And... I don't know, we're just going to go up this bank here. We're just going to run up this bank here probably you know, for 100 yards or so and see if we can get anything. And then if not, we've, we've got a couple other things tied on to maybe try to catch some bass. Alright guys, let's make up this way. I um, don't want to go too far up from where we left our stuff, but there's really nobody out here fishing today, so I don't think we have too much to worry about, but I, um, I heard something breach right over here when we got set up on the on that last spot, so I'm going to try to sneak in here and see if maybe we can find something over here. Alright guys, holy cow man, there's a ton of acorns falling here. Alright, hopefully we can see this over here. We've got some climb area over here it looks like. Some little bitty tapping on this thing. It's so funny. We're going to catch something over here. I told you. I told you we were going to get something. <laughs> He's little. They're always little over here. I don't know. Oh man, there's a snake. They are always little over here. That is for sure. Alright guys. Say smile for the camera. But... Alright guys, so we got to be a little careful around here. So, okay, I know there's bass over in that area. We just got to be a little careful about how we're going to go approach them. Because I had a little snake crawl right under me as I walked right by, right back to the camera. So, we're going to go grab our stuff. We're going to get set up over there and hopefully avoid any snakes and hopefully catch something a little bigger than what we just got. So, this is this area that we were fishing through. 
there's just a, oh, there's just all this grass here just freaks me out about the snake. So we're gonna try to fish through this. All right, guys. From from some of you guys may have seen um, one of my videos that I did with um, where I was fishing for a crappie and I had this little crankbait. I got this thing tied on. I know it catches bass, and I know there's bass in here, so I'm gonna throw this a little bit. I am gonna, you know, see what we can come up with. We may not stay here very long. <laughs> we got another one. Oh, we got a trout this time, guys. Check that out. He is madder than hell. That is cool. We got a trout on this guy. That is so funny. Oh, and he is off just that fast. So let's get him back in the water. And isn't that cool? Look at that little guy. That's pretty awesome. All right. Let's get him situated here. Right, guys, I'm going to go over here. Try to... I'm going to try to get on the other side of this tree. All right, guys, I think that's going to be a wrap for today. Um, you know, two little fish, uh, but some getting out in the outdoors. And, you know, not every day that you get the, you know what, scared out of you by a snake. Um, I'm pretty sure he wasn't that big a one. But, you know, it's not the, I don't think that matters in, in the whole scheme of things. So, anyway um again you know fall season trying a bunch of new things that arky crankbait that little guy he, he continues to catch things for me even though that trout wasn't that big i mean it's a little bitty guy but he was still fun he's mad as hell too and then you know that curly tail grub you know that's a that's a bass pro shops grub you know, didn't spend hardly, well, I didn't spend anything on it, actually. It was a gift, but, you know, you don't always have to spend the most um, on your equipment. Uh, you know, I know you guys have probably seen the rods and reels, you know, if you pay any attention. These are, you know, I'm getting these things from Walmart, you know, not spending really much of anything on them. And, and we end up having, um, you know, we end up catching some fish, you know, still haven't caught that huge one yet, but caught my share of three pounders this year. And, you know, really just trying to have a little bit of fun. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And if you can think about it, hit that subscribe button. And, and certainly, you know, give me that thumbs up and, and leave me some comments of what else you'd like to see. Until next time, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll see each other again. And, and maybe we'll have a story of a, of a giant next time. Thanks again, guys. See ya.